the Russian armed forces continued to strike at the facilities of the military administration and the energy system of Ukraine, the Ministry of Defense. The Russian Defense Ministry continued to launch missile strikes against critical infrastructure facilities in Ukraine. According to the military department, the designated targets were hit. The Russian military did not stop after the first day of using high-precision weapons to attack military command facilities and the energy system of Ukraine, continuing to hit targets today. Unfortunately, the military traditionally does not report details, it is known that for strikes, as on the first day, high-precision air and sea-based missiles, as well as drones, were used, all targets were hit. Today, a massive strike with high-precision long-range air and sea-based weapons against the objects of the military administration and the energy system of Ukraine has continued. The target of the strike has been achieved. All assigned objects are hit, said the official representative of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation Igor Konoshenkov. According to unofficial information, the strikes on the territory of Ukraine began at night, in the first wave almost only kamikaze drones, Jaren-2, were used. The use of some drones caused fears that this would be the end of it, but later Russian aviation and the Navy joined the strikes, air and sea-based cruise missiles were spotted over Ukraine. At the same time, it is emphasized that the volume of use of missiles is less than yesterday, but the number of UAV strikes has increased. It is worth noting that, Kiev skillfully uses this fact, stating that a smaller number of affected objects is the work of the Ukrainian air defense, and not a decrease in the intensity of strikes by the Russian armed forces. However, the day has not ended yet, as well as missiles in Russian arsenals, so that Arestovich does not declare there about the depletion of Russian ammunition depots. Artillery, aviation and missile strikes destroyed two fuel storage bases for the armed forces in the districts of Nepropovosk and Pavlograd, five ammunition depots and ROV. In the area of the Predtekino settlement, an ammunition depot with rockets for the HIMARSMLRS was destroyed. In the area of the settlement of Mariansky, Dnepropetrovsk region, the Russian aerospace forces shot down a helicopter Mi-24 of the Ukrainian Air Force. Anti-aircraft gunners landed seven drones, including one switchblade 600 barrage munition, 15 HIMARS-MLRS shells and six American HARM anti-radar missiles were shot down in the air.